Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, the 20th of November. It was meant to keep pedestrians safe by making drivers slow down, but the raised crosswalks on Farrington Highway in Waianae had some unintended consequences. Sarah Madison joins us with details. Sarah? Joe, we're told the raised crosswalks that were installed in August are working and there's been positive feedback. But the crosswalks are too steep, damaging vehicles. The four raised crosswalks on Farrington Highway have created a bumpy ride. It appears that some of them have been raised entirely too high and it's causing damage to vehicles as they go over and trouble being seen. I did hear that there was an accident involving a military vehicle um, that had slowed down, you know, because of the, you know, the speed bump, and then somebody crashed into them. Transportation department officials tell us the raised crosswalks are steeper than what they wanted to build. They say they used an old topographic survey on file instead of doing a new one to get more information for that area. One of the biggest concerns that I had for this one is we just didn't have the best topo. Uh, for this improvement. But I didn't want to delay the improvement because any delay in this could cost people their lives. In the future, we'll make sure that we have the topos in place as we move forward with the next, uh, the next areas to ensure that once we do it once, we won't have to redo them again. The state says the modifications cost about $5,000 for each crosswalk, so a total of about $20,000. And if the weather holds up, they hope to finish by the end of the week. We're flattening the slopes to make sure it's a little bit easier for the vehicles to get through while ensuring that they slow down when they get there. Some say the project should have been done correctly the first time. Some people are very disturbed that we're having to fix them because uh, that's our tax money, good money being thrown after bad. But are glad that their voices were heard and changes are being made. I think it's a, it's a lesson learned, and I know that um, you know that, that DOT has has the, had the best intentions, and I'm so glad that they did what they did because we needed something drastic to happen in this community. Uh, the pedestrian fatalities were just are, are still out of control. Now the state is looking at putting more raised crosswalks in areas where there are conflicts between high volumes of traffic and pedestrians. Places like Nanakuli and other areas of Fort Weaver Road. Also, the state says it welcomes any feedback, so feel free to approach them with questions or concerns. Back to you, Joe.